All right, I recently created a process of a better copycat method of finding backlinks. Okay, so firstly, why this is better than the copycat before? Number one, um, using the step one, step two, basically you change the location of your computer, then you search the keyword itself, not including the city name. So the websites come out from the results page are stronger than, you know, the results come up by searching keyword plus city name. So they have stronger backlink profile. So they have more backlinks to choose from. Number one, also I use Ahrefs. So this shows a lot more backlinks than Majestics. So Majestics, lots of times, it doesn't show all the backlinks. Um, it doesn't show as much as Ahrefs, they shows more backlinks. So you have more links to choose from. Also the standards is basically, you try to copy every backlink the competitor has, um, sorted by UR, the, which is the uh, URL rating. Um, that is the main matrix you look at. Uh, still, I want to record a trust flow and citation flow. Um, so that's the whole process. Now I'm going to go over from start. So you want to install this Chrome extension. So it's here um, in the store, right? After you install, then you have options to choose options. Then you'll come to this page, right? So then you click here, fix location. Um, according to where, so you have to know a little bit geographics. Uh, you can search the cities on Google map to find out where that it is. Um, when you go back here, so the keyword, right? So this gives you the location, right? For example, the first one is drywall, uh, the drywall, uh, Oshawa drywall contractors. The city is Oshawa, Ontario. So, um, yeah, so, so you cannot search it. You have to drag, so you have to drag it, right? So for example, if the city is Guelph, I have a website, you have to literally drag this to uh, Guelph here, right? I have a website, it's Cambridge, Massachusetts. It's not this Cambridge. So you need to find Massachusetts on the website, on the America site. Um, yeah, and so on. So once you are in the target city now, um, you go back to this. So for example, we do the concrete as Oshawa, um, Ontario, and then you can search any of these keywords, any of these keywords. Okay. Say this one, you go to the result page. Firstly, you want to verify, is it in Oshawa, right? Because we switch the location. So bottom of the result page is Oshawa, okay? Then you want to look at the competitor's websites. Um, because you search this way, it's a very short uh, keyword. So the websites that ranks high are the websites who has good backlink profiles, right? Um, so this, for example, this is a competitor. So what I want you to do is go to Ahrefs. So it has a site explorer here, right? Paste. So you can check the backlink profile of, um, click this. Then you can see all the backlinks here, right? You only look at the do follow links. There are thousands of links. Oh my God. Right. And then sorted by UR. Then you want to see, 
So, so basically, this lists all the backlinks uh, point to this domain. Okay. And um, this is anchor text and backlinks, right? So you can see what anchor text they have. If, you know, it's a anchor text that can insert your keywords, that's a clue you can find here. Then what I want to do is to try to get, try to validate each links and see if you can get a link from it. Okay. Just go through them. Um, I only need one link per day. Um, and then, you know, there's so many competitors, right? So there's one, two, this Wikipedia is not competitor website. You can skip. This is competitor, right? This is competitor, this is competitor, this is competitor. So you can throw them in uh, Ahrefs and see where they get backlinks. Um, yeah, so if it's a blog, you can, you know, see how they post the blog. Sometimes, you know, the the link is from the, the post's name, right? Sometimes it's from, say, sometimes in the blog comments, he has a anchor text he can insert. So you can use the, the generate link, this tool, to have to um, edit your HTML code, basically insert the anchor text you want. So yeah, we had that kind of training before. Um, yeah, so basically, and also if, so let's go back to the document. So here you can find competitors website from a results page. So it's easier Then you see the do follow links and see if you can get the same link sort by you are, um, yeah. So the, another thing is the standards is lower, right? So right now I want everything, every link the competitor has, I just don't want, um, the spammy links, for example, like a one page has hundreds, thousands of links linked to outside. So here you can see, um, so the referring domain is higher, the better, but the, um, the external link is lower, the better, right? So the spammy alert alarm, it could be like something like this, you know, it has like so many links point out. Be careful about something like that. So, you know, um, go to that page, right? This is a page we suspect is a little bit spammy because the external one page has thousands of external backlinks, right? That does not sound very legit. <laughs> so, when you go to the page, okay, that's that's the page, right? So you can see, yeah, it's like Viagra, like all of that. Yeah, so many people posting links, and it's not like related to the topic at all. Um, the the website, although it has good domain authority or domain uh, rating or uh, the page rating, you are is the main matrix we will look at. It looks pretty decent but the web looks very, very spammy. Like once you see a website like this, like, like Viagra, like things like that, you know, the loss of just so many random people posting uh, links has makes no sense, right? To Google, like one day Google can punish you because of like posting a link like this, trying to game the system. Um, so just, keep them if something you suspect uh is spammy you keep the link uh post it here in url that by it's not just status probably say possibly spammy so that i can take a look um yeah so i may use some of them but we try to avoid but it's good that you can keep a note okay when you come across a website like that 
Um, okay. Then go back. So anchor tags, uh, as we said before, um, so you use, so the main, the main keyword plus city is the key, the top, top keyword. So I don't want you use that at all, right? Stamp concrete Oshawa. That's the top keyword. I don't want you use that at all, but this partial keyword stamp concrete, you can use it, or you can use any of the other keyword here, uh, as, uh, anchor text, like concrete driveway. Uh, concrete contractors. Also, you can use this plus a city like concrete driveway Oshawa, concrete contractors Oshawa. But you know, so these are actually sorted by the priority, right? So when the when the UR is really really good, you can use um a better anchor text like concrete a uh, stem concrete Oshawa, right? That's the that's the best keyword. It's just assuming it's a really, really, really good one, but usually it's not that good metrics. So you can use this keywords, right? Concrete driveway, Oshawa or concrete driveway, um, things like that. So the really good ones you use stem concrete, Oshawa and stem concrete you can still use that without a city. But it's also for a website with the really good metrics. Okay. Um, and then, so also you can use synonyms, right? You can use this, uh, you know, so there are more variations of uh, the anchor text and keywords. And then um, if uh, you find a link uh, in here, the backlink profile, if it is a directory, right? There's some directories. Um, because I have citations. So yeah, so when you go through it, if it's a directory, you can go to, um, I have a citation spreadsheet here, right? So um, so you can, if, so firstly you do a search, like domain search, right? Say you find something like uh, to, to find local, you just search it. So if I have it already, you don't have to, you don't have to post it. If oh, it's not here, then you can post it, uh, the citation, and you can record the citation in here. That's for you to track. Uh, also, it has the when it's a directory, you have to use the address and uh, address and phone number. Right. So it's all here. So business name, address, phone number, website. So you can use them to post in a directory. Okay. So that covers all the situation. So the last step is just like, it's a, it's good to have a uh, majestics. You can still log in, you know, then record the TF and CF from majestics. I just like to look at it and that's it. It covers everything. Um, it should be way faster. I use, as you see, like when we see, um, the competitor, there are lots of competitor, right? The way we search it. And also it has lots of backlinks to go through. There are lots of them, right? So you have lots of chance to, uh, find backlinks. It's way better than before. Um, so I want one link per day per website. I think that will take you way less than way less time than before. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay.